Are you guys still replacing this guy uh, like this in your photos? Then you're doing a biggest mistake. So today we're going to learn how to quickly replace the sky uh, in the Photoshop with a super easy technique. So I'll just get rid of this and I don't need anything. You can add your custom skies as well. But Photoshop itself has a lot of, you know, uh, sky presets available for you. So what you have to do is basically you have to select your image or open your image in the Photoshop. Go to the edit and go to the sky replacement. And now select the sky which you want you know to replace so let it process first let it analyze you know your image and it will now you know create uh, the replacement for you easily so now you can see you know i can uh, drag and you know move my sky uh, to match the composition i can just change and i can select anything from the presets so let's select something uh, probably more uh, on the sunset Yes, and then uh, there are a lot of settings which you can do uh, for the adjustments, for example, brightness. So you can match the brightness uh, of the sky with the image which you have. You can adjust the temperature so that, you know, it blends very well uh, with your composition. You can adjust the ages as well. So if you want to, you know, shift the ages, uh, you can do it that as well. So this gives you a perfect control. So if you notice, you know, it is basically blending my original sky uh, with the replaced sky and you can also you know uh, flip the sky if you want to you know use uh, it a bit differently then based on your composition you can easily you know uh, replace your sky without doing a lot of hassles and then uh, there are more controls where you can you know define the ages uh, with the brush uh, you can you know uh, it is just for the moving uh, entire artwork but yeah uh, and apart from this you know uh, this is basically for the adjusting the sky and then we have this foreground adjustment where you can define you know how much the sky should affect the foreground so you can change the foreground lightness from 0 to uh, 100 where you know it automatically uh, adjusts the lighting based on selected sky how do you want you know your ages to be lightened so uh, it has you know this awesome feature so i'll not touch anything on this foreground adjustment i'll keep it as it is but i'll do it a bit differently so uh, you just need to make sure that you know your output is uh, selected to the new layers okay and let's click okay so now photoshop will create a couple of uh, layers a bunch of layers for us and it will you know keep our original image as it is so let me just you know uh, hide everything and now if i uh, hide my original image now you can see you know uh, this is how the photoshop has created a nice mask for us and then it has you know created this very well a perfect blending uh, of the sky so now to adjust this image more further what i'll do is i'll basically create an adjustment layer here so i can create a curves adjustment layer for example and then you know i can just tone it down a little bit uh, just to make sure that you know it matches with my uh, with my sky and the lighting which i am expecting okay and now uh, you would be noticing that you know lowering this uh, uh, rgb curve basically you know making my uh, objects uh, also or the subjects also a bit darker so what i'll do i'll just you know use this mask uh, of the adjustment layer and uh, i'll go at the brush and i'll just you know uh, roughly you know uh, just fine tune them and now you can see uh, we have easily replaced the sky with all the custom settings if you want to you know make any further adjustments in the colors of the uh, foreground uh, or you know your background image uh, you can still do it with you know all the adjustments layers uh, between the sky replacement group and your original image so if you see your original image is intacted as it is and now photoshop have cre photoshop have created this uh, separate group for you where you, your you know sky is very well replaced uh, in the image so i hope guys you have liked this video and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon as well because if you're not hitting that bell icon then you're not going to uh, get the notifications of all our future upload and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and that will always keep us motivated uh, be sure to write in the comments whatever you want to learn further or you know uh, if you have used this technique ever uh, then be sure to write it in the comment and write your experience about this uh, photoshop trick so yep yeah, to the next video keep watching keep learning keep designing